delighted to be sitting down uh, with an old friend, James Burke, who's just very kindly helped us uh, in the judging of, of Lion's Den. How did you find the standard this year, James? Really high, really high. We had a hell of a job on the judging panel just trying to make that decision, and there's so many criteria you're trying to look at. Yeah. Yep, really high. And a high standard of entry? Yep. Why don't you put that down to? Why do you think things are higher, the high bet standards so high now? I think there's a, there, first of all, there's a lot of programs out there now that producers have access to that they wouldn't yep. have had five, ten years ago, and, and therefore people are able to see a journey yeah. and, and see the steps to maybe to get there. So I think it's, it's now possible for a business at a much earlier stage to be at a much more elevated and, and have a strategy. You've been watching this for close on two decades, I guess. Yeah. And what, it is, what is it that's helped speed it up, do you think, apart from the programs? Is it attitude or standard of I design? Think, or? I think the programs have acted as a catalyst to raise the bar. Yeah. But I think then producers entering now see as well that, you know, you need to be, you need, if you want to scale up, there's, there's polar opposites, really. Yes. Some people don't want to scale up, and that's the right yes. thing. It yeah. may be about local food. Yeah. Maybe it's about provenance or food tourism. And yeah. That's absolutely right, and yeah. we need that in Ireland. And then for other companies who want to supply, maybe into retail or food service, and to scale up, they're the ones that are saying, okay, I need to be at a certain level yes. here. Yes. The industry as well is, is intolerant. Trying to get listings is terribly tough. Yes. Yes. I had a, I had a As it should be. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, absolutely. I had a retail buyer and a group of producers uh, recently and somebody put up their hand and said, look, what, what advice when I'm going to see the buyer? What yeah. the advice? And the advice was excellent because he said, take your product into the store before the meeting yeah. in your hand and look at that category and ask yourself, why is the buyer going to get rid of one of these products yeah. to take my product yeah. and what's um, the compelling very blunt. Yeah. James, are we at sort of peak startup in Ireland today, do you think? There, there have been, uh, over the last two decades, There, it's like uh, peaks and troughs and yeah. waves uh, going along. I think we, during the lockdown, there was an explosion, obviously, in food yes. startups, but a different type of food startup. Yes. Perhaps uh, I have online home delivery hot or, yes. a, or a food truck type yeah. of thing or a yeah. box with lovely teas and coffees and, and uh, all of that. That has now leveled some of those businesses if you call them COVID startups, I think some of them have realized that the category they went into might yeah. have been sustainable or the consumer was in a different space. Yes. You know, there were some online businesses that yes. started. The next week they were doing a thousand or two thousand euro yes. week online. Yes. Thought Amazing. that was normal. Amazing, yeah. And of course, they, yeah. it was the perfect storm because yeah. the consumer was sitting at home with nothing yeah. to do in many cases yeah. and had some money. So. But are you still bullish for startups in Ireland, generally, in the potential? I, I, I would certainly be bullish for startups. I think the number of startups is contracting at the right. moment. And, and but is less is more, do you think? Or potentially. Not? Potentially. Yeah. I think those people that will come out at the moment will have thought through better. Yes. There is a nervousness there, yeah. you know, obviously with costs rising and stuff yeah. like that, which yeah. is making people think twice. Yeah. The other factor is that the last big recession we had and people lost jobs, Yeah. Many of those people turn to food businesses yeah. as the prompt to say, yes. I, need to, yeah. I need to make a revenue. You've been very fortunate to see many people start to come and go, what are the three attributes you think that when you meet someone early on, that you look at and say, are they going to make it or not? I think the, the, the product goes without saying that right. you know, they've got to have that right product. And, and, and timing is probably somewhat to do with it. I think branding is a key piece. You yeah. have the, most, the best product in the world. And yeah. if the branding and the packaging is right. But actually, I, I'm down to one criteria now after all these years. And it's the person. Yes. It's, it's the person. And you can tell. You meet the people with the great product, yes. but the person just yeah. isn't the right person perhaps to bring it yeah. to market. And on the other hand, somebody else that, if the person is right, they will find everything that's wrong. Yeah. They will realize that my yeah. social media isn't as good as it should yes. be, and yeah. I need to scale up yeah. and get funding. Yeah. Um, it's, it's the person. Great. James, as ever, thank you very much. It's always good to sit down and talk to you, and keep up the good work. Thanks, Andrew. Thanks.